All right, guys, Nick Alt, the Ozark Angler here. Today we're going to be talking about boat ramp etiquette. Um, it's a big issue that I see every now and then, and it's definitely something that some people don't know how to get around being courteous and polite, and some people are just downright rude at boat ramps, which is really uncalled for. Um, we ran into a slight situation just recently at PB2. They had like a high school championship, um, and somehow they ended up overbooking the PB2 boat ramp and we ended up waiting in line for 45 minutes just to put our boat in the water and we ended up 15 minutes late for the tournament and that's not good luckily the guys at the tournament were willing to wait for us because we were boat number one and uh, they were willing to wait for the rest of us to get our boat in before they took off but um, what I want to go over is steps in the process of putting your boat in the water first off if you get to the boat ramp and you're sitting there uncovering your boat you're in line you're doing all of this you're doing all that to get all your gear ready and the line moves forward and somebody goes around you don't get mad at that person okay that person probably took the steps before they left to uncover their boat get all their gear ready and put their boat in the water you know just that much faster so don't get mad at that person for cutting in front of you and may have cost you maybe a minute of your time but in reality would have held up the line that much longer what ended up happening is putting the boats in took forever because a lot of the kids were not really experienced in putting boat in and actual boat ramp etiquette a lot of them still had their boats tarped right when they were getting ready to put the boat in if you're waiting in a line between moving forward and whatnot just untarp your boat get everything ready even if a few guys go by you in the end you're actually going to move a whole lot faster as a whole so when you get there try to make sure that if you're traveling a long way and your boat's covered pull up as soon as you come to a complete stop first thing you do is untarp the boat get it ready to go then worry about actually getting a place in line once you've got a place in line you're all sitting there you're good to go Putting the boat in the water shouldn't take more than 30 seconds. Now, that's for an experienced person that's capable of backing a boat and trailer up really quickly. Me and my partner, we take less than 10 seconds to put a boat in the water. The most time it takes is actually getting the trailer straight and backing it in. Because whenever we get there to the boat ramp, the first thing we do is we undo all the straps. Everything. So that way my driver, or my partner, hops in the driver's seat, I back him straight into the water, and goes. You want to go through several steps before you get to this point though. Step one, do a walk around on your boat. Even, even if you did one at the garage, do one at the ramp. Walk all the way around your boat, check everything. Make sure that the drain plug's put in, make sure that you undid the trailer straps, make sure that your transducer isn't falling off or your prop isn't loose you know you want to go through the steps just to make sure that you have a good day on the water and learning how to back up a trailer is a big part of launching a boat so if you have the opportunity and you're teaching a child or a younger person to get into fishing on his own so if you reach that 15 to 16 year old age where you're taking him with you constantly on tournaments well take that time to let him back the boat in you know let him learn the steps of doing sometimes don't even help him put the boat in the water let him do it himself or her do it herself that way she can get or he can get the idea of the processes to go through the things to check and how to actually back a trailer up a lot faster I can back up a trailer either using my mirrors or over my shoulder either way I'm faster over my shoulder just because I can see a whole lot better then whenever you take the time to teach them that just because you're in line doesn't mean you're ready to put the boat in can save a lot of hassle that was the biggest issue we had putting the boat in the water was we had a bunch of people that were not prop properly prepared to put their boat in the water you know the last thing you should be doing if you're the next boat in line is untarping your boat the last thing you should be doing before you put your boat in the water is putting the drain plug in and the guy hopping in it to take off of the trailer then we ran into the issue of pulling the boat back out say was what happened is 
PB2 is wide enough for four boats at one time. Well, a section of the ramp was closed off because the water was so low. So there were three areas that you could, there's enough room for three vehicles to back their trailer and pull the boat out at a time. Well, what ended up happening is one of the areas was taken up by a truck and trailer and the boat did not properly have a paddle in it. So there was a guy trying to row his boat with his net over to the boat ramp which is a good 50 yards and that's not that's not right you should always have a paddle in your boat whether it's a full-blown actual paddle or if it's something smaller it doesn't matter but an act any kind of good paddle is what you need in the boat don't take up the ramp it took that boat a good 35 minutes to get out of the water to get over to his trailer and get out of the water that whole time that was a wasted spot on that ramp so what took 45 minutes to pull a boat out of the water could have easily taken 30 minutes because more people could have cycled through and got it through the process and what you should do at that point is a if you're the person in the boat and your trolling motors dead and your motor won't run don't be too prideful to ask somebody hey do you have a paddle or hey can I grab onto your boat and can you pull me over to the trailer we're all fishermen we're all in the sport together we're willing to help each other so don't hesitate to swallow a little bit of pride and ask for some help because you're already having a rough day if your trolling motor's dead and your motor won't start the last thing you really need to worry about is whether you should ask for help because we're all going to help you but make sure if you're in that situation that your driver knows to leave the ramp get back in line and then come back around a second time. That way everybody else can get in the process because an inconvenience for you should not be an inconvenience for everybody. Now I'm not trying to say that there aren't extenuating circumstances like the drain plug is out of the boat and it's starting to sink. Yeah, get the boat out of the water. That's a no-brainer. But hopefully by then you've already asked for help and we're able to get you out really quick. But um, going through those steps at the boat ramp will make for a much more pleasant experience as far as launching the boat and pulling the boat out. Don't get mad at somebody that jumps in front of you while you're trying to get your rods all set up. You know what? They were already ready and odds are they probably they're probably an older uh, older partner group or an older individual that already's done it a thousand times, has it down pat, isn't going to take more than a minute to launch his boat. So, don't get mad at that person for going around you and getting in line first. Now I understand sometimes it happens and sometimes you might be getting in your truck and they go around you. Best thing to do is just let it go. If you let something like that really bother you before you get on the water, it's going to hinder your performance throughout the day. And you don't want that to happen. You want to be able to start out the day with a positive note and the boat ramp is where it all starts. If you have a good transition from land to water, you're going to have a good day on the water whether or not you win your tournament or you catch a bunch of fish. It just a positive mental attitude makes a big difference. So don't let those guys that jump in front of you to put their boat in because they're all set, ruin your day. Don't show up at the ramp without doing a walkthrough before you leave. You know, I've seen guys at the at the ramp that have their extension cord still plugged into the boat. So they dragged it from who knows how far away and all that could have been avoided by just doing a simple walk around and all and stuff like that makes a big difference for your days on the water so anyways guys that's my tip of the day have a great one and see you on the water